share. Hey, yes we do. Hello everybody. Hope everybody's doing great out there. My name is Daryl Calloway, and we're here to tell you about Dancing for the Future 2016. Excellent. And I'm Cindy Todd, and we are very excited to have be here in front of everyone to talk about our third annual Dancing for the Future event. The event this year will be held again at the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club, so you don't want to miss it. It'll be an evening of elegance and fun. It'll be the best event we've ever had. So come and join us this year for Dancing for the Future. That's right. It's November 19th at the Beach Club, starting at 7 o'clock. And we have to make sure that everybody gets their tickets because we get sold out pretty quickly. So if they visit our website at dancingforthefuture.com, you can get on the site and you can uh, order your tickets. And at the same time, you can vote for your favorite dancers, which, by the way, I bet we have a list of them. I think we do, Cindy. Huh, let's read our dancers. How many couples do we have this year? We have 10. It's a full program with a lot of excitement. Excellent. All right, who do we have first? We have Whitney Covington and Michael Swag, and they are doing a hip-hop. Second, we have Dwayne Boardman, lieutenant with the county police, and he's dancing with Sherry Smigo doing the jive. Excellent. Our third couple is yours truly, Mr. Dr. Daryl Calloway, and he is dancing. His star is Diana Waterman, and they are dancing the Viennese Waltz. Next is Derek White, and he's dancing with Natalie Derek Shani, and they're doing an, an exciting country clogging routine to Cotton Eye Joe. Nice, nice. This is, this is really quite the list of fun dancers to come out and watch. And these dancers are only two minutes long, and these dancers have met each other for the last two months. They've been practicing, so a lot of them never even knew each other. That's right. And so this is the first time they're really practicing together, so it's really exciting to see what they're going to come out and, and perform for us. Uh, fifth is our Dr. Tim Romanowski, and he is dancing with Jennifer Gooding, and they are doing a tango. After the intermission, we have Lucia Calloway as our pro, dancing with star Jack Wilson, county commissioner, doing a cha-cha Latin medley. Oh, that sounds fun. Next, we have a Mr. Phil Duminell, and he is dancing with Kimberly Morganson, and they are doing a disco we have a new couple coming on next, Sonia Mangum, and she's dancing with pro Diego Guzman, and they're going to be doing some real great West Coast swing. Nice, very nice. Then our ninth couple is Dr. Tom Walsh, and he is dancing with Aaron Nooney, and they are going to be dancing a musical theater. Very nice. And to finish out our program, we have Ivano Scotto, the restaurateur from the area, dancing with Amber Wright, the pro, doing a swing. That is going to be such a fun event. Now, in order to raise money for this event, the way we do that is that people get online and they vote for their favorite dancers. And it's a dollar a vote, and that is the way that we raise money for our dancers. And happened to be that for the last two years, we have raised... About $85,000. Wow. Yeah, it has been great. And they've been able to go into the schools and help the kids with technology and cultural arts. Um, it has just been a really, a, a really a blessing for our students. And the best thing is, is not only do we get our students, but then we cover all 15 schools within the county. So every school is touched. So we, we touch as many kids as we can. Yes, it's going to be a great night, one that you will not want to miss. Absolutely. Get ready for lots of costumes and dazzle and surprises. There will even be a dragon egg on the night of the show. So we don't want anybody to miss it. And, of course, the voting, the seats, everything's available online. Cindy Todd, what is that website again? Oh, good thing you asked. That website is www.dancingforthefuture.com. Now, the other cool thing is, is that our community... It's about our community as well. We have people from North County, Center County, and, Middle, and South County, excuse me, all together. We have dancers from all over the county, and they are coming together for one common cause, and that's our students. Um, and it's great from the dancers, and then we put everybody in the room together, and we're all there cheering each other on, uh, all for our students. Uh, but, you know, we could not have done this without our sponsors. And we've got quite a nice group of sponsors this year. Shall we read them? I think we should. The first sponsor we'd like to point out is University of Maryland Shore Regional Health. Excellent. The next one is Increte of Maryland. Friel Lumber Company. Reed Creek Farm. Philbin and Reinheimer Orthodontics. Anne Arundel Medical Center. The Midshore Community Foundation. Murdoch Flowers and Greenhouses. And finally, the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club itself. Wow, what a lineup. Dancers, sponsors, beautiful venue. You don't want to miss any of this. November 19th at the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club. That's right. And you know what the Beach Club is doing for us again this year? 
They are helping us by, if you eat at Noxie's Grill, the day of the event, I think from 5.30 before the event, they will give a portion of your meal to, to our fundraiser. But then also this year, they've added the first, all the Wednesdays before the event to, if you, if you go in there on those Wednesdays, on those dates, and say that you're there and you want to support Dancing for the Future, they will put a portion of their meal towards our event. So that's even another way to fundraise. So that is really very exciting. So please help our cause. Back us up. Help us support the kids in our county. In fact, we even have two of our students coming to perform on the night of the show. We chose a representative from Queen Anne's County High School and one from Kent Island High School. So come see their spectacular little dance routine. It's just cute right off the charts. Cindy, would you like to dance again? Oh, I would love to dance. Once again, don't forget, dancingforthefuture.com. We'll see you there November 19th. Bye.